I just checked, this 9mm CMMG Banshee is perfectly zeroed, and it just so happens CMMG just launched a line of muzzle accessories called Zeroed, and that's the subject of this video. Yavin Gay here from UltimateReloader.com. That's right, CMMG just launched Zeroed, which is a line of muzzle accessories that includes linear compensators and a 22 cal flash hider. I got my hands on one of the early units. This is a compact linear compensator. These are interesting devices. They redirect gases forward, which reduces sort of that concussive blast wave that you're gonna feel, reduces muzzle rise. It's a very, this is a very compact form factor. If you don't have anything on your muzzle, it'll add sort of a thread protecting functionality as well. So on this video, what I thought would be cool to do would be to take my CMMG 9mm Banshee and we're gonna compare a bare muzzle to the factory brake to this linear compensator. The first thing we need to do is get the linear compensator installed. So we don't have gobs of torque going on here, so I've just got this clamped in a bench vise. If we were gonna do something intense, we would wanna use an upper receiver vise block and or a barrel vise, possibly even remove the handguard. But I'm assuming this factory brake is not on super tight, so we're gonna give that a bit of a crack and just make sure, yep, totally adequate to do this with a uh, slight clamping force on the handguard. Okay, now we have an extra crush washer here, but I've got one here already, and we're just gonna go ahead and reuse that. Give her a little bit of a tighten, and we should be ready to roll. So we got the linear comp installed on the Banshee 9mm, and I've got a huge bucket of 9mm ammo from a previous loading session. I think it's time to go and do some shooting. So here's what I'm thinking. We've already got the zeroed linear comp installed on the Banshee. I'll fire off a few shots with that. We'll feel what that feels like from a shooter's perspective. Then we'll remove it to see how that compares with the bare muzzle with no muzzle device, and then reinstall the brake that came with the Banshee so that we can compare all three from a shooter's perspective. Then we'll get out the high-speed camera and get scientific. So without further ado, Nice, my first impression is it feels very clean. There's no blast. I'm not smelling the propellant or anything. Okay, now I'm gonna take it off, then we can do the bare muzzle. And again with five shots. Okay, so being a nine millimeter, the recoil isn't bad, but I feel a little more push on my shoulder. Now on to the factory brake. And the last five. Hmm. That is actually really interesting. I can see the gases escaping the muzzle brake each time and I can actually smell the propellant between each shot. The brake does a good job reducing the recoil, but I do prefer the linear comp because it just keeps things clean. I'm not seeing propellant, I'm not smelling propellant, and I'm not feeling as much blast. But let's wait to see what the high-speed camera will reveal. This is no doubt the fun part. High-speed video is an absolutely amazing tool. Here we're using the Edutronic SC2 Plus. This camera, very specialized device, capable of recording at 4,456 frames per second at HD resolution, and that's what we were capturing with. Now, in order to get enough light, that's a very fast shutter speed. We're using two 200 watt second lights. These are almost as intense as the sun. That's what it takes. And there's a very small window of time as well. We've only, we're only recording 0.4 seconds of video. Things are happening very fast. So we're using a sound trigger. The report of the muzzle blast is detected by a microphone. It goes in through the I.O. port. The camera is constantly maintaining a buffer of frames, and when that sound is detected, it goes back a specified amount, starts recording, goes through when it was detected, and forward a certain amount. I think we have a third of it before the crack was detected and two-thirds of it after. It's a very, very exacting process, but what we can see is things that we can see 
in no other way. So I'm going to start with a side angle so that we can kind of see the recoil impulse and then we'll move to kind of a three-quarter angle to take a look at the dispersion of the gases and the muzzle blast. So we'll start with the bare muzzle and then we'll go to the linear comp and then the brake in each case. I'm just going to play this in real time. So you can see the blast and then the bolt goes to the back and really when the bolt bottoms out against the buffer tube that's really where you're going to see the sharpest recoil. And there's some subtleties here. So if we speed this up, you'll see, boom, we have an initial little movement there of the buttstock against my cheek. And then as the bolt makes its way all the way to the back, boom, we have another little snap there. Now look at my sleeve here. It kind of flaps, okay? So that's a flap. Let's go to the next clip. This is the linear comp. So I'm going to play that in real time. Boom. You can see there was a little less movement initially, and then when the tube bottoms out against the bolt, we see that additional snap. But look at my sleeve. There's more of a ripple, kind of rather than a flap. Okay, and then the third clip, we've got boom. Very little movement initially. The braking action on the brake, of course, is, is very good, and then we've got we've got that bottoming of the bolt against the buffer tube again. And if we speed that up, we see again kind of a ripple. Now here's where things get really intense. Here we have a triple side-by-side -side shot. And what I did for this was I synchronized things so that we basically have, when the muzzle blast is seen, we're synchronizing all three frames here. And now we can see everything happening kind of at the same time time with all three setups. Bare muzzle on top, linear comp in the middle, and the brake on the bottom there. So if we speed that up, we can kind of see the effects. And again, it's, it's kind of subtle what, what you're seeing there. So that's the recoil. Let's now move on to the gas dispersion and the muzzle blast. So this angle is really cool because I've got a dark background here. And if I go ahead and play the, the bare muzzle, clip here, <laughs> check out how cool that is. You can literally see the bullet flying through the air and we can really clearly see the profile of those gases against that dark background. Okay, and to the next clip. So here we've got the linear comp. Again, we can very clearly see the bullet exit the barrel and fly through the air. What's interesting here is we've got this kind of downward motion on the gases, which is kind of, kind of interesting. That might have been just a, a random fluid dynamics kind of thing going on. I'm not actually sure exactly what that was. But definitely the gases moving forward more. Go to our brake. And there's, there's some interesting things to see here. The brake is definitely different because we've got, I'm gonna go frame by frame here. It happens really fast, okay? So there we've got the, the flame. I always love that shot. Okay, now we've got two, two sidewards, sideways blasts. That's the way that the side ports expel the gases. And then the comp ports on the top, I don't have that on right now, it's over here. These comp ports, uh, direct gases kind of upwards. Okay, so we can see the gases flying upwards there. And it's just a lot more intense. There's more concussion because of those gases going sideways and you can actually, you can see it and you can smell it even, uh, even as you're shooting. Okay, now to the triple play. Here we go, all three at once. Kind of interesting to see how the gases behave. If we go frame by frame, let's pull them back into the rifle. <laughs> and then here we can see a, a triple montage of the actual muzzle blast, the flame, which is pretty interesting. You can see here, right in this frame, we've got the forward facing ports of the linear comp lit up, which is <laughs> totally cool. Okay, so going back, let's let that play in real time one more time. 
yeah, just kind of interesting to see, you know, the different behaviors of the muzzle blast and the dispersion of the gases here in real time. So there you go, some hands-on testing, evaluation, and even some scientific analysis with CMMG's new zeroed linear compensator. But this is just one product in that family of zeroed products. So if you click on that first link in the video description, it will take you over to my full article where there'll be more information, links to product pages, and so on and so forth. But here's what I'd like to know is what do you think? Please drop a comment to make your voice heard. That concludes this video. That means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe with notifications because you're not gonna wanna miss the content I've got coming up. Also, links down in the video description. I'm on Patreon and I've got Ultimate Reloader shirts at the Ultimate Reloader store. Any support that you show is most appreciated. Thank you again for watching. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading. Thank you.